Chrysler needs to figure out something. And I think the easiest route would be to drop a Hellcat engine in the 300 and start marketing the living heck out of it. All right, guys, so we are going to talk about the 300, and this is often a, uh, a car that gets overlooked in the Mopar community, and we're going to discuss what Chrysler should do with the 300 in order to boost sales and be semi-successful. Uh, Chrysler, as a brand, is not doing too hot. They are down to uh, basically two models, and uh, they're in desperate need of of an injection of any kind of life, okay? Um, now, in the past, many of you guys have commented that Chrysler should um, make a 392 version, which they have in the past, but some of the best comments were that they should make a Hellcat version of the 300. And I was watching a video the other day on another channel, Hemi Muscle, and he was explaining that if Chrysler ever released a Hellcat version of the 300, he would trade in his Charger for it. And I was thinking that this is something that Chrysler needs to do. They have to do this. Uh, it's not like the Chrysler 300 Hellcat would be a massive seller. Uh, they, they will likely sell similar to what maybe a little bit less than the Charger or... Um, not so much the Challenger, but more so, you know, a little bit under what, what the Charger sales are. And the reason why they need this is not necessarily for the, the sales of the 300 Hellcat. It is to inject a little bit of excitement into the 300, the, the Chrysler brand. Um, just think about the exposure that a Hellcat 300 version would, would get, um, and it also brings in more clients. It brings in more customers. Whenever you have a Demon or a ZL1 or a GT500, those top tier trim levels, those higher horsepower, unbelievably handling, whatever, you name it, these high top performing trim levels bring in more uh, customers. They bring in more people that want to get into that model. Um, you know, a lot of people just think about it. You're excited about the demon. The demon is this, that, and the other thing. And we're all in RTs and 392s and we'll never be able to afford a demon, but you're excited for the brand. You're excited for that model. Um, and so I think that is what, what Chrysler is missing. Um, they are missing an excitement level. Uh, they need to figure out a way to get that 300 kickstarted, sales boosting, and I think putting a supercharged um, Hemi in there would be unbelievable. Now, if they really want to knock it out of the park, how about a Hellcat all-wheel drive 300? That would be on another level. It would be basically a 300 Trackhawk, and... I think it would be a lot different than the Charger. You know, there's plenty of people that want that sedan. They want the all-wheel drive, and they would get that 707 horsepower um, that the 300 would bring to the table. It's also a little bit more different, you know. So I don't know how they would want to play it or anything along those lines, but Chrysler needs to figure out something. And I think the easiest route would be to drop a Hellcat engine in the 300 and start marketing the living heck out of it to, to create some kind of excitement around the brand.